ไหม <coughs> God I'm so awkward <laughs> so this so uh, lighting oh <laughs> Hello. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. There we go. There we are. Probably fine. Hi, welcome to wig review. <laughs> if you see my YouTube channel, you'll notice that most of my videos are uh, voice impressions. But fun fact, I also cosplay, in case you didn't know that. Um, follow me on Instagram. So I was contacted by this company called Uvimi. Uvimi. You with me, <laughs> and they um, sent me some wigs to review. Um, four wigs. However, this is not sponsored. They are not paying me to say anything, so these will all be my honest opinion. Okay. And um, also, I find wig review. I find like review videos usually really boring, and uh, like I have to watch them to like figure out things before I buy stuff. But like, I don't like, like I think they're boring. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this as entertaining as possible, jazz hands, with um, with also still uh, like providing some information, you know, like still doing the review. Okay, anyway, here we go, <laughs> wig review. So the first wig, dun dun dun. So this is like a short pink wig. <laughs> Obviously it's a short pink wig. I got this to cosplay um, Psyche K. If you don't know what that is, great anime. It is it is listed on their website as fashion anime short hair, <laughs> and it retails for thirty six ninety nine, which for a, like a good quality wig is like a pretty normal ish price. It's definitely advertised as a uh, 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 Psyche K cosplay wig because it comes with these little clip in things. Boop. Yes, so that's why I chose it. <laughs> because I love Psyche K and I want to cosplay him. So initially, um, your girl, it looks pretty decent. Like it's like not too thin, not too thick. Um, it's maybe a little bit on the thinner side. It's pretty, pretty basic. It's got like the horizontal wefting, wefts. Um, it's adjustable, boop. So it looks like that on the outside. Yes. Also, I'm noticing that there's like, like a darker, it's multicolored, so there's like a darker, there's more dimension to it, which is really nice. Um, there's some like depth to it. There's like a darker purplish pink down here, and then the hot pink over the top, which is really rad. I guess let's try this baby on. I mean, wow, a look, am I right? Um, so right away, I think the bangs are like quite a good length and probably won't need too much trimming. Um, keep in mind this is totally unstyled, so there's kind of like some weird floofiness like going on on the sides here. But I think if you like style it in place, then it'll be a lot cuter. I'll do like a, a finished styled look. Um, and these are like in some aspects pretty nice and in others like this is like kind of like it's just like a sticker and this is just like like foam or something, so it's not like super high quality. Um, this ball though, it's a nice ball. I mean, they stay pretty well though. This is what the back looks like. Yeah, it feels feels pretty nice. Like it feels like it's like pretty flat against my head. Like there's no like floofing or like weirdness happening. So overall, um, yeah, pretty. It's pretty decent. Wig number two. So this next wig is um called Lolita Long Curly Cosplay Wig, um, and it retails for $41.19. That's such a random price. <laughs> it's a longer wig, so that would be why it's more expensive than the last one. So here it is, dun 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 dun. It's a long blonde wig, as <laughs> you can tell. Okay, initially, um, it's quite a, a little bit thin around the like top and where the wefting is. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like, whew. Um, but you can see like there's places like where you can kind of see the wefting at the top, which is not great for a $40 wig. But, like, see what I mean? Yike, yike. I brushed through it. I did like an initial, an initial brush through and there was some shedding, but that's pretty normal. This wig does have bleh, 
clips on the inside, which is good for longer wigs because it'll help uh, like secure it to your head because longer wigs are heavier. Um, and it's kind of the same situation with the wefting and adjustable cap as the last one. Um, this one has like a skin top, like a part built in, which looks pretty nice. Um, and it's got the bangs. Uh, let's try this puppy on. The bangs obviously need to be trimmed. <laughs> But for now, we'll just swoosh them to the side. It's pretty nice. It's like, I just, again, don't like, it is pretty thin. You can like feel the wifting through here. So at the top and stuff. For a $40 wig, you could probably do better. Cute. Um, but it is, it is really pretty and fluffy. Like this, this length is just really nice. Um, the fibers are really nice and it is heat resistant, it said. So... If you want to use heat styling tools on it, you won't melt it, apparently, if you use it on the low setting. Again, it's just this, like, it's just so thin on this top part where the head goes. You can see the wefting through here, um, unless the hair is sitting in exactly the right way. And it's not, like, super obvious, but it's, like, enough that it's, like, eh, not really worth $40. What cosplayers actually look like. <laughs> Wig number three. Okay, suspiciously for this next wig, um, they sent me these wigs like a couple months ago, and I'm only now filming the review. E, but um, suspiciously for this next wig, I don't, I don't know that they carry it anymore. So, I can't find it when I look on their website. It's basically a short gray kind of wig. I think it was like listed as male Harajuku gray Lolita wig. So, uh. Yeah, we'll see. This wig feels pretty nice. Like it's pretty thick. This one feels pretty, pretty dang good. And I don't know how much it was. Like, I don't know how much it retails for. Cause again, I can't find the page, which is a little sus, but <laughs> whatever. The only thing so far that I'm noticing is it's like kind of like almost too thick in the front. And then this top is like where the hairs come together uh, at the crown of the head. Is that the crown of the head? I don't know, whatever. Um, it's kind of like, a little bit matted but other than that um it seems like pretty nice yeah it's the same situation as the other short haired wig so i'm like wefting and stuff i think i think it's a little darker than it was in the picture but again i can't find the picture but yeah i'm like i'm not mad at it let's try it on dun, 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 dun. okay obviously this the bangs need to be trimmed which is the case with like most wigs that you get so whatever i do i do like how it's it's kind of like got that anime boy like chic Sorry, here's my face. Hi. Yeah, it sits on my head pretty well. Um, yeah, like that's cute. Like I like this like and it's like not sticking out crazy and I feel like all my natural hair is like covered and I think it's like kind of a look. Again, it obviously needs to be like trimmed, but like hell yeah, like that's so cute. Um, this one I actually really like. Yeah, catch me rocking the silver anime boy hair. Oh, it's really nice because it has like this like darker like tone into this lighter tone it's not all one one strand color of hair which is really cool it's yeah it's pretty sick pretty sick bro um unfortunately i don't know where it went on their website but like hopefully this is a, a good um representation of like their other like short wigs that are like styled like this so wig number four this one is a fun wig this is like a party wig a, a multicolored pastel rainbow wig if you will i look so crazy i Hi. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This wig is so pretty. Um, all of these colors are so nice. Like, they look really nice in the natural light. These waves that that it has going on are really nice. It's the same situation as like the other long wig where it's got this like skin top thing with bangs. Same thing with the clips on the inside um, as the other one. It's basically the exact same scenario. It is again. A little bit thin um, up here like you can kind of see the wefting you know just how it naturally sits you can kind of see on the top the wefting which is not great so the long wigs this one's not as bad as the other one in terms of wefts showing at the top but you like you can still like see it's not like you can't see them but like if it shifts a little bit then you can like start to see wefts poking through this is lolita harajuku rainbow wig and it retails for 42.99 which is quite a bit of money again for for the quality that this is 
um, with this like thinness at the top and stuff. Yeah, but we, we'll try it on, we'll try it on. Okay, obviously the bangs need to be trimmed again. Most wigs, they usually come with longer bangs so you can trim them to the length you want. The colors are so nice. It's so fluffy and long and beautiful. And it's like so fun, like just to, to like have on. I don't know, I really like it. It's just that, it's just these like, it's a thinness at the top. All of these wigs fit really well. The fibers are really nice. I really love these like multi-tone fibers they've got going on. The short wigs work great. It's just these like longer wigs and this like thinness up at the top at this part where you can like see the wefts poking through. So longer wigs, they still look good on. Like you have to like look pretty closely to see, but like for $40, you should probably be getting a little bit better quality. Overall, the short wigs are really great. They're still like, I've had better quality short wigs before for about the same price, but like these still work. The longer wigs are beautiful on. We should be getting higher quality for $40. That's it. Thanks for watching this wig review. <laughs> Actually, I've never done a review before, so you can probably tell. These are the things that I look for when I, when I get wigs. Hopefully it was like kind of helpful. Professional camera work. <laughs>